Welcome to Football Fancast, ladies and gents, and five things we learned from the weekend just passed. Let's get straight to it with thing number one. Manchester City saw red and turned green with envy at the Blues. Chelsea triumphed 3-1 at the Etihad on Saturday in a game that won't be present on Nicolas Otamendi's highlight reel. You better pray you're never that bad again, Nick. Sergio Aguero saw red for an attempt to win the ball from David Luiz's cruciate ligament, and Fernandinho also marched for practicing his Vulcan death grip on Cesc Fabregas. This game was the football equivalent of the film Sliding Doors. If Kevin De Bruyne hadn't hit the bar in front of an empty goal in the 56th minute, Chelsea might not have pulled City's pants down with two counter-attacks, which is the football equivalent of cheating on Gwyneth Paltrow, I, I think. Thing number two, Alexis Sanchez had a night to remember after scoring some stunners. Yep. That's not what I meant. I meant the Chilean got a hat-trick and an assist against the West Ham team that crumbled quicker than Upton Park. Sorry, Hammers fans, you definitely can't go back there, I promise. It's now 13 goals for Alexis and 13 unbeaten for the Gunners. That sounds lucky for Arsenal, almost as lucky as the not buying Jamie Vardy. This time last year, the Leicester striker was a record breaker, having scored in 11 consecutive games. Now he's gone 16 without scoring and the Foxes are two points above the relegation zone after losing to Sunderland who are still rubbish, but not quite as rubbish. Troubling times for the reigning champions, though. Thing number four, Bournemouth must have been listening to Journey because they didn't stop believing when they were 3-1 down to Liverpool. They came back to win 4-3 and stun the title hopefuls. It was the greatest 4-3 comeback since the one that happened a few hours earlier when the mighty AFC Wimbledon were 3-0 down to Kurz and Ashton in the 80th minute of their FA Cup tie and they won 4-3. It's amazing enough to make you want to Google where Curzon Ashton actually is. And finally, thing number five, it was the 231st Classico on Saturday, and there were probably 231 more interesting things you could have done than watch it. And you couldn't watch it live in the UK anyway, thanks to the man. It had a last minute dramatic equaliser, but it was a scrappy mess otherwise. The Premier League, meanwhile, had loads of brilliant games, loads of brilliant goals. Best league in the world. Don't you forget it. All right, that's it for now. Give us your thoughts at Football Fancast on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Love to you, mothers. See you next time.